electronic harassment. Uh, electronic harassment with federal agents involved in law enforcement. I'm a victim four years of organized gang stalking with state computer crimes and phone hacking, along with severe psychological effects, including harassment, vandalism, burglaries, and just about everything they do to me, naming dozens of crimes. And they've done every one, including illegally drugging me and kidnapping me with committing fraud by doing it and me having proof and proof of it notarized. Um, not only as I went to Tarzana Hospital, I went to the emergency room yesterday to try to get my foot looked at. What happened was they denied me service because they wanted me to go through another route. Not only where they can choose what to do with me, but so they can attempt another crime to me in a hospital and putting something in my system that made me hallucinate by committing fraud, of course, and how I can prove that. Is many many reasons, but you have it on my other reports that you can just add it to, and that way they can, uh, you know. And what was your name, by the way, man? Sarah. Sarah, and you're out of North Carolina, Navix Global. Okay, cool. Are there yeah, I got about five, six of them, maybe seven. Now, do you hear that right now, ma'am? And that's because. They're right now committing fraud by listening in on our private HIPPA violating. And you hear the sirens in the background, right? Oh, you didn't hear it again. Well, you, well, I mean, if you, uh, I mean, are you with me or against me here? I mean, obviously, are you, are you being manipulated by somebody? But last I heard that you're supposed to help the LA healthcare patients, right? Okay, so just add that there was police sirens in the background there. And not off the, what they put on my Wi-Fi. Please. Because not only am I recording you, but my recording heard it as well. So, you know, it was only that loud. Now, I also have another matter that, that it needs to get taken care of with Homeland Security. Um, due to a crime on May 4, 2017, and on 9-16-2017, at around 1 in the afternoon, I had got interviewed by an LAPD officer pretending to be an SS agent due to a five-page virus sent to a White House website. Now, not only are my court documents, I do want to state this for the record, under my booking number 5100-955, and it's under my probation report, um, that it not only did this guy pretend to be an SS agent, but was an LAPD desk cop at the end of the day, took private information promising to leave me a receipt, failed to do so, discriminating against my disability. I need help filing paperwork. I got a paper right here that says that not only LA Healthcare will help me get a lawyer now, but will help me actually get in contact with somebody. Now I'll read you the paper that I have. And it got sent in the mail. And that way you can see what I'm talking about. So that way you're not like in the air about it. Um, I do want to get the matter taken care of um, as soon as I can. Uh, due to crimes continuously happening to me and discrimination and everyday things due to my disability and it being a false one at that. But my original and real disability is from a 2013 16-16. 003238, that's a confidential file number, which four years la later, a reference number given by Chief Charlie Beck, which is 13.5.1, reference date of letter is January 27, 2017, which you can see on the website I gave you, along with him acknowledging me and stating that he wants to help me, but sending me to an officer that's discrimination against me again after a direct order from his chief and his captain, David C. Grimes, out of uh, LAPD AIG, which is Internal Affairs Group, he filled the director not only for the chief of police, but the captain, and me having a reference number that I just gave you, and the phone number on that's 1213-486-0150 with Los Angeles Internal Affairs. Um, not only did he uh, discriminate, but tried to use the fraudulent disability 
so he can make me look like I was a crazy person and not help me. And I actually had to put that letter next to feces in the toilet to get him to only come once to my home a half an hour after I took a picture on Twitter like that.